You look amazing. Thank you. Have a safe night. Thank you guys for staying. All right, right. doing that dress. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Pacey. I haven't been posting in a while because I've been processing moving to a new state alone. There's a lot of different emotions that come with living in a new environment and not knowing anyone. There's been some challenges, but there's also been a lot of great moments, and I want to share with you guys all the different moments in my life. This video is just a glimpse into it, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, please excuse my voice, guys. I lost it, but I still wanted to make sure I I posted this video so I hope you guys enjoy testing testing one two three hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Pacey if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you are returning thank you for your support and thank you for watching me today I'm about to do a get ready with me while I basically update you guys on what I've been up to what I've been doing where have I been? I've been gone for like two months. I haven't been posting. So as you guys know, like I recently moved to a new city. Living here has had its ups and its downs. It's a lot of new experiences that I've experienced moving to a new city. It's a lot of different emotions that I've been feeling. So when I first moved here, I was very excited. Like I felt like a brand new baby i've been making friends i've never been to a courtside basketball game and i went to my first courtside basketball game dating wise i have experienced so many different things when it comes to like dating that i actually never experienced when i was back home i actually went back home my birthday just passed you get homesick and i got homesick like i missed my family i just missed certain things about home so i ended up going back and visiting home also i've been adjusting with living on my own i never knew how how much you have to be comfortable with yourself to be by yourself to live by yourself there's days where you're not gonna probably talk to anybody and you have to find things that you enjoy doing that makes you happy i've been really getting in touch with that recently i've been doing a lot of yoga and going to the gym i needed a break from social media i became so overwhelmed i needed like a break i'm also rebranding my business you guys know i have a weight business and i really wanted to really branch off i want to make my business just pop in y'all i want to really make it pop in and one thing i've noticed about being an entrepreneur and i've realized is it's all on you like you you set the tone for yourself like if you want to make one dollar today that's all you're going to make if you want to make twenty dollars you're going to make twenty dollars but you got to push yourself. Being an entrepreneur, you're you're going to have to really be mentally strong to keep yourself going cuz nobody's going to like keep telling you push yourself, be here, do this, do that. I think also like living on my own and moving out here has also kind of given me a wake up call to really like find myself, figure out what makes me happy. For a long time, I just feel like I listen to what other people want from me or what they think I should do and how I should do it and all these different things and I think right now where I'm at I'm just like I want to do things that make me happy that I enjoy but these two months that I took a break I feel like it's brought me a lot of clarity it's made me more prepared mentally to jump back in and go hard on my channel to not just post content just to post but to actually post meaningful content yeah guys that's pretty much where i've been this is just a life update type of a video for the people that actually care also i would love for you guys to comment below what kind of videos you want to see me do because i don't want to keep doing the same videos over and over again especially if you guys don't enjoy watching it i just put some lashes and my lip gloss on to end the video that's what i've been doing that's what i've been up to pretty much just getting adjusted to this new city making new friends enjoying the city really just going through a mental and emotional 
awakening and just figuring out what I really want, who I really am. I will be vlogging and I'm gonna start bringing you guys into my life and my day-to-day -day routine. It's just, you know, me talking to you guys, updating you guys on what I've been up to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Sweet, look, she got me a cake. <laughs> Thank you, look at this. <laughs> Oh my god, you know I love sushi. Thank you so much. Yes. This is one of my subscribers that became a friend. Look at what she <laughs> She's so sweet. Um, since I've moved to, wait, let me put the light on. So since I've moved to Texas, she really makes me feel like I have somebody here. Cause like, you know, I don't know anybody really. <laughs> but she got me some gifts for my birthday. My birthday was in July, but you know, we weren't able to meet up, so I want to show you guys what she got me. Oh, what is this? Um, it's like strawberry wafers and stuff like that, just for a snack. Oh, okay, strawberry wafers. <laughs> you got me some sushi. Lord knows I love my sushi, chow. <laughs> so we got sushi here, and then the cake, which I'm excited about the cake. Ooh. Oh, it's such a cute cake. Look at the cake. <laughs> And a card. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna show this to my mom too. Oh, oh my mom to see this. So she'll feel okay because my mom has been feeling bad that mm -hmm. I'm here by myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You Let me give you another hug. Hey guys, so I am ready. Um, so she's still here. So <laughs> Can you record my outfit, please? Yes. So this is my outfit, guys. Period. Oh, I saw my look like a bad bitch. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll record when I get to the restaurant. I'm about to head out now, so I will see you guys there. some context to what we're talking about an older lady asked me where are some places she can go to in Houston and I gave her a list of grown and sexy 25 and up places does that insinuate that I'm calling her old comment below and let me know if y'all agree with their perspective <laughs> but you haven't been to 5 Central 5015 Guys, we are definitely pretty drunk right now. Yeah. Off of some oh, damn sangria. Some sangria and whatnot. What's that? This is African. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's, so, She's hilarious. Yeah. She was really trying to do that. Oh, girl. Should I leave with this drink? Oh, no, you can't walk out. I don't. What? I think you can. You can. I'm already here. They got money, girl. They can buy another glass. <laughs> 
Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing to it. <laughs> you can walk out. You should walk out with I that. I want to. I want to see what they'll say though. Who's going to check me? Who's going to check me? Period. Because one thing about it, you make the rules, not them. One thing for sure. So, Okay. Okay, she's about to walk out with the wine glass. We are gonna see. We're gonna see if they'll let her walk out with it. She got the glass right there. Let's see if they say something. Okay. Is it this one? <laughs> this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Hello, how are you? Hi. Wow, well, look at that. Oh, it's Look at the Uber though. It's giving the vibes in here. We've got These the lights on the bottom. Do y'all go on TikTok at all? We do. We definitely do. Definitely yeah, drunk as hell right now. I don't give a fuck if it's cute. It's him though. Period. <laughs> <laughs> y'all it is the next day i'm about to actually head out my uber is one minute yeah i want to quickly kind of just vlog for a second i kind of lost my voice a little bit last night was really fun i had a good time but after this weekend i'm gonna be inside not going out too much and just laying low doing some self-care stuff and all that good stuff but i had a really good time yesterday and the vibe was so good we're about to go to like this food place that my friend wanted to go to she saw it on tiktok and it's a really cool like concept or whatever it's like different food places and everything um food venues and stuff to eat at so i'm super hungry i haven't ate all day and i'm excited to go i'll show you guys what it looks like when i get there i'll see you guys there Hey guys, I'm here. Remember Nunca? Hey guys. Uh, oh my god, no, my head stopped. <laughs> I saw that shit again. Girl, okay, hey guys, we're back. Um, <laughs> remember Nunca? Period. Look at the edges. The edges are slayed, okay? Oh, okay. Um, and we have my <laughs> Sierra Luna sister over here. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> she awkward. She said, hey. Are uh, we gonna take this shot, child? Cheers to, um, Friendship, long, healthy life, yeah. and yeah, yeah. everything in life. Yeah. Watch me not finish this. Oh, oh. Mm -mm. Ooh, I finished that whole thing. <laughs> 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 I ain't finished mine. Whoa! And I guess still got a little bit left. <laughs> Really? Uh, so they tried to play us. 
Where's the um? Let me try this. Though. That looks actually good. What you gonna put on their ice cream? We, we, we go feed in the house. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say? Meanwhile, <laughs> 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 you freaking like. <laughs> Never ever, never ever just put a little bit on your kids ice cream. Got my ice cream. Very basic, but it's okay. If I'm like, I'm gonna leave you for you and dead ass, you gotta be like, ah, you gotta go. You gotta, you have to leave or else they will never take you seriously again. Okay guys, we're talking about long distance relationships and like, you missed the whole time. She's trying to blow We like two minutes to old too. Well, we're talking about long distance relationships and um, space and whatnot. Me personally, I'd rather live in my man's skin. I <laughs> wouldn't be in you. <laughs> These three over here, including an Uber driver, would rather have space and long distance relationships. I honestly can't do it. As Anoka would say, I can't be bothered with that type of relationship. But yeah, we just had a deep talk and I turned the camera on a little too late, guys. But yeah, just wanted to let you guys in. Kay is like, I don't even care about the conversation no more. She was so passionate. I mean, you got the gist of what I was trying to say.